So a few days ago I uploaded a video where I was talking about trying to win with the lowest stats possible. And the run that I uploaded was just one of these runs where by chance I ended up with a team that had very low stats. I wasn't particularly trying to um, beat anyone's record. And I did mention that RevGT had, had posted a video, um, a similar video in the past. And at the end of that run, my um, total stats on my team, I think it was 87. And then there were a few people in the comments talking about um, their lowest stat wins and how they achieved it. So there was one mentioning um, Toad Hedgehog, which I guess makes sense because you can have a toad at the back with lemon that has just enough health to survive a whole bunch of hedgehog uh, snipes and then uh, the hedgehogs don't have to have any stats at all. However, um, I can't remember if I actually mentioned the strategy that I'm going to go for in this video. In the previous video, uh, that one I actually re-recorded quite a few times and I, I may have, um, it may have ended up on the cutting room floor, but the, the strategy, in fact, Flame mentioned it today in his video, is that you try and put mushroom on as many units as possible and then pill them. And that means that they come back as a 1-1. One, one. And you can't get lower stats than a 1-1. One, one. So here I'm going to try and improve on my personal best, which 87 is not particularly good, so we can definitely do better than that. And maybe throw down the gauntlet to everyone else to... Um, have a go and see if they can beat this total. Now, um, we do get matched with some really strange teams in this run. That one had level three um, hamster, uh, no, guinea pig and woodpecker. It was a, a bit of an odd one. But similar to the previous video, we're going for a lot of the same pets that have very, very good abilities. Um, Bat and Lynx, you know, they will... Um, their abilities will go off at the start of battle. It doesn't matter if they get sniped. And we've got a weasel, which is our sort of um, gold generating unit that is going to be reasonably big stats for just now. This team is so straight. This person, I just don't understand. Every time I play them, they have level three fish. So they're just playing the early game over and over until they get the level three fish and continuing from there. I mean, I guess, you know, Everyone's free to play the game how they like, but I'll never understand it. Anyway, back to the run. So you can see here, you know, the, the weasel is just there um, to generate an, enough gold that we can buy more crows, more blobfish, more chocolate. And then at the end, it can be uh, sold off. And here I buy, sell the stoat and get Nyala, which is, I can't remember if I had Nyala in the previous build but it was definitely an obvious candidate and flame definitely used it in his video today so here i think we get matched with the same team that had the uh the level three um guinea pig before and the snipes absolutely devastate them so we need to try and get to level threes on as many units as possible as quickly as possible and then pill pill them with mushroom the problem is finding enough mushrooms, finding enough pills in time, because you also want to win as quickly as possible to avoid having to play really um, huge teams. Because although the Lynx can do a lot of damage, um, you know, one team with lots of uh, big units and um, turtle is probably going to uh, beat you. So here we are, another team gets absolutely devastated at the start of battle by the, the Lynx snipes. And of course, because we're specifically going for leveling up everything to level three, the Lynx is just gonna become more and more powerful. So this is a great shot. We get double crow and uh, another Nyala, although I think, um, yeah, we can't take crow. At the moment, crow has been changed on the test server to actually stock instead of replace the shop. So the chocolate just appears and you don't lose the other um, items. So you could actually buy, sell two crows in one turn and it wouldn't be a problem, but uh, sorry, buy them back to back and it wouldn't be a problem. I'm not sure if that's going to stay. But here, a double leopard opponent on turn 11 and jellyfish. However, the weakness from the bat and the uh, incredible amount of trumpets being generated means it's an easy win in the end. Uh, another crow. And I think here I, yeah, I don't want to lose the pill because I want to be able to pill something with mushroom. But at the same time, 
I can't just hope that the another mushroom is going to appear in the slot to the left, although I'm maybe going to spend some gold on it here. Okay, so we do get a chocolate, which is great. Now I can combine the Nyalas, and I could pill it at this point, but I think I probably still need the, um, the mushroom to survive for now. Now, yeah, we could take Vakita, although I think level 3 with mushroom is basically generating almost max trumpets anyway. And Skunk is another potential unit that could do massive damage even though having very low stats. Another great matchup where we get, we get matched with um, a summon team that can just be destroyed by Lynx. And I think, um, yeah, although the bus is going to kill the remaining units, the uh, the Doggo has got massive stats at this point, almost 50-50. Another Lynx. So here we can pill the bat and we get our first 1-1 one, one unit. And I'm going to get the by the Lynx, yep. And the Chocolate. The, the slight difficulty with going Lynx is that um, you obviously, you know, I want to keep the pineapple on it. So if I put Mushroom on and pill it, down to a 1-1, one, one, I then have to also find another pineapple after that. And this team is, uh, I think uh, in this session when I was playing, I kept getting matched with the same person who's Matty backwards. I get matched with them all the time in Golden Pack as well. And here it looks like we're, you know, there's no chance for us. But it wasn't actually that far off. I think it probably depend, maybe depended there on where the Warthog buffs went. I could be wrong. In any case, here I put the mushroom on the bat just to make sure that it um, respawns if it gets sniped because at one health it'll get sniped by even a, a mosquito and here I'm giving tomato to the skunk because with the um, uh, the weakness from the bat the tomato can potentially hit a unit that already has weakness and therefore it's doing 11 damage instead of 8 and here I'm trying to decide if I'm going to pill the Nyala this turn or not and we also need to look for something that's going to replace the weasel because on the final battle I don't want to go in with uh, even if I pill the weasel I don't want to have a uh, three a one one weasel which does nothing. Another summon team, but we instant kill the turkey and the German shepherd and the respawn turkey gets killed by the tomato. That was just unbelievably satisfying. And thankfully we avoid any um, ridiculous orca spawns there. So now, nine wins, one heart. Uh, I think we have to pill um, the Nyala now because we need to take it down to 1-1 one, one, and then we're just going to have to look for another mushroom. So here you can see I'm trying to decide whether or not to sell or pill the weasel, but I should just sell it. And we're going to sell the Nyala because the other problem with selling the weasel is that it depowers the links a bit because it was a level 3. But I freeze up the deer because it's a 1-1. One, one. I did briefly consider the walrus here. I, I didn't actually count to see the uh, total stats, but I, I can you can tell just by looking at it that I'm way below the 87 that I had last time. So now we get the mushroom and can also buy the deer. And now we have three 1-1s, one a 4-6 and an 11-9. So I'll put it up on screen, the exact total there, but it's a massive improvement if we can win. And we get matched with a snipe team with a middle shark. Uh, totally bizarre team, anonymous. Um, but it's an incredible result because it's going to mean that uh, the dog comes in and kills off the shark and we win with this almost definitely the smallest team I've ever won with. I think I'm actually going to start tracking this on the website. So if you want to upload a run and submit it with the lowest stats possible, then feel free to do so.